Hello, my name is Ozra, and this is a post reaction episode reaction of season one, episode six of uh, American God, the Murder of Gods, and uh, essentially this is an episode of uh, building, which is um, Odin is essentially building up to where he's gonna defeat the more you know fight with the new gods essentially. Um, okay, so this episode was really tight and concise, so I don't know if. I can edit it properly because you know I, I'm still in the process of editing the real blind reaction so normally what I do is um, in the midst of editing a post up reaction in the midst of sorry in the midst of uh, editing the blind reaction I would normally do the post episode reaction first just to complete that and so that I have time to edit the uh, blind reaction fully uh, okay so uh, in this episode we have uh, shadow uh, just trying to comprehend what has happened to him, uh, essentially like asking Odin questions and Odin is giving him vague answers but the vague answers are starting to fall into pieces and he's starting to deduce like what Odin is trying to say and you know all these old gods and new gods are essentially in his life and uh, we meet a new, uh, new sort of god, uh, his name is Vulcan and um, I think he was a I think it was an old god that moved into a new god kind of thing, you know, because, you know, in the last episode, uh, the Mr. World, I remember him saying merger, and then Odin was like, you say merger, I hear war, meaning that, you know, we can't compromise too much of our old values, you know, for your, you know, uh, move up. But I think for Vulcan, he was like, yeah, I was being too forgotten, and I didn't want that, and, you know, because... He has pride of himself, you know, he became um, industrialized, so to say, and he turned into uh, Vulcan, the new god, and uh, essentially sold his old friend out, which is Odin now, so um, I really love the sword that he made for Odin, that was one of the things I'm like, oh my god, so I think Vulcan was an old, like, blacksmith god or something like that, because, like, he did the freaking sword, and that really looked like some medieval sword that knights would use, I mean, that's fucking beautiful like oh my god and that's one of the things that I, would, I really wanted to praise about this series is that the visuals is amazing and sometimes you know the, the story can get a bit a bit iffy you know in and out but you know it's an adaptation from the book and you know books I understand sometimes they can throw in something to distract you from the main plot and sometimes it goes off on a tangent uh, and that's the problem with adaptations from books but it works kind of well in this episode really uh, we, see the, we see the djinn coming back uh, in this episode and I'm so sorry I had to cut that out because I was so scared of community guidelines at that point um, and uh, we see him interact with the leprechaun Matt Sweeney and also uh, dead wife Laura uh, and essentially he is, uh, he wants Mad Sweeney to tell him uh, where the other djinns are. I think he wants to explore the other djinns and ask them like how and why uh, he has come to be. Meaning like, because in the last, uh, uh, last few episodes, I think in the f fourth episode, yeah, he met with another djinn. And essentially he got a new wish kind of thing and he got a new life uh, so yeah uh, and uh, he wants to understand more about the Jinns which is understandable and uh, Laura essentially is following uh, Matt Sweeney on a trip but she also wants to kind of close the door on some things that she never could close the doors on so she meets up with her family and that's one of the scenes i took out because you know it was going a little too long uh so i'll bring it up here okay so uh thing about this episode is um i really love that uh shadow is starting to be more involved in their world and I don't think he really necessarily wants to but I think it's sort of the thing that he's like you know what I'm already in this fuck it I'm gonna go for it and uh, I really like that uh, Odin is very wise you know he's a very old and wise person but you know he doesn't really fuck around to it you know if you fuck him over he'll fuck you over too it's just you know blood for blood vengeance for vengeance and um 
Yeah, so um, I would say I would say this is a really interesting episode to to look at because um, we've had so many things that come comes into this now because we've we've had a lot of philosophy on American gods and in this one it really goes deep in that philosophy um, and obviously you know it, it it was meant to be a philosophy book I think and. Whatever the reasons, I said there were so many subtle things that I saw in the opening uh, this time is because I I didn't really pay attention to the intro. I just got caught up in the music and I just still love the visuals. But now that I'm thinking more and more about it as the more time uh, goes by, is that we see a lot of subtle things that um, you know are brought into the episodes as well especially this episode because you know as i said you know uh the old god uh you know was integrated into the new world meaning that you know uh maybe he was a, a blacksmith god let's say for example uh he was moved into a, a gun god which is you know a uh, guy who manufactures guns and every time you shoot a gun it's kind of like a prayer to him uh, and um, in the opening, it's uh, more of like, uh, you know, the integration of uh, the new technological stuff with the gods as well. When you see the Laughing Buddha, which is a, uh, a god in our culture, um, you'll see pills, like, you know, the drug pills. And uh, that is supposed to signify well-being and, um, you know, uh, of your body and also kind of like, you know, elation those type of drugs as well to make you happy to make you laugh and uh, also with the Hindu god um, uh, Ganesh if not, I'm not mistaken the the elephant head god uh, he is um, he is portrayed with the needles which is essentially a pathway to Nirvana that's what they always say but you know it's more of just for fun but it is a uh, subtext to say yeah if you want to go to nirvana you gotta take some heroin bro that kind of thing so that's why it's portrayed with more of the hindu god um and also i like that uh, medusa has those like fiber optic hairs kind of thing that was really fun to see in the intro um, and it plays into this as well uh, as i said like you know when they talked about sacrifice they were like Oh, uh, what? How do you do a sacrifice? You know, you can't force people to sacrifice bodies anymore, and it's more on the play of accidents, like you know, accidents. Um, but you know, it's essentially uh, safety misconduct because you know they never fix the railing. As I said, like, oh, it's better to just leave it there than to refurbish, close down and refurbish. Uh, so yeah, that uh, that makes it technically a sacrifice. So. Um, yeah, got nothing much, but to say that this episode had really a lot of discussion about like how somebody can have faith about a certain thing and worship that certain thing and make it a god, you know, that that is essentially our society today and also like a testament to our faith these days sort of you know it's that kind of the the circle movie meeting with uh, some traditional pure flicks movies you know uh debates on god um but yeah i really love this episode because you know they did everything quick and uh, decisive and everything came into place uh, oddly enough uh, obviously there were some scenes where I'm like, yeah, that wasn't really necessary, but then it was gone just like that. So, yeah, guys, that was about it, and I will see you in the next video. See you then. Mm -hmm.